Or you can talk, I can point, whatever you want. No, I'm going to turn it over to you here in just a second. So, George, uh, as I did the video this morning, you know, there was quite a leak coming from right here. And we uh, sucked it up with, or tried to suck it up with some additional fasteners. You see the screw holes right there. And basically, all those screws are spinning, which means that that there's probably rot back there. And so we investigated further. Uh, we actually took all the flooring out so that we didn't miss anything and uh, investigated further. And I'll turn it over to Matt here. All right, let me get down here. So we figured everything, the fasteners were spinning. So we figured the chine was rot and it is from the inside. You shouldn't be able to do that. Same thing here. You see it just broke off as I'm touching it. And it looks like, you might not be able to see this, but it looks like someone repaired it in a one six, like a 16 inch piece of the chine here. And they should have kept going back with it. Now, uh, this is about as obvious as you could possibly hope for. It's come in and it's set. So this frame all the way across should be replaced. The frame behind it, at least on starboard side, the chine on starboard side, at least the back few feet. And then you come forward and you've got a very similar situation right here, which, you know, leads both ways. You've got a little bit growing here. There are some some kind of soft spots in the planks, but nothing that I'm saying the planks need to be replaced because from the underneath side, the keel and the planks felt strong. Um, let's see. The, the only problem is when you have something this unbelievably damaged, what's on the back side of that? And we won't know until these frames come out. Could the gusset be damaged? Could the battens be damaged? Yes, that batten is damaged. Could a plank be affected or the chine there? On um, all of these sections, you're running that risk and you wouldn't know until you took it out. But on the bright side, the damage that was done up front was repaired and then the dip test did hold. So that is the bright side. So the other pieces of the bright side would be uh, that on this repair back here, we can we've got two woodworkers we got matt and jeff neither one of them likes their uh, their boats touched uh if they're in charge of a boat but I, what i want what i want to try to do is not affect the schedule with this we'll take care of the repair not affect the schedule not trying to negotiate pushing the schedule out past june 20th or any of that kind of bull crap we uh you know if we got to work some overtime you know that's something matt and i'll discuss and uh, some weekends in order to keep uh, keep the project on schedule. I will put together, Matt and I will put together a price for what we think it's going to be to take care of this. Of course, until we start tearing stuff out, we don't know what the extent of it is, but we can at least price what we see here right now. And uh, we'll put together a, an estimate for that. And, uh, and we're going to keep on going unless you tell me hold the brakes uh, we're gonna keep on going with it and and the repair up front was done ahead of schedule yeah we were we were uh, we had three to three to six grand on the bottom and we're at about well last time i looked we were at three but i don't think we had friday's work on there but anyway so uh we came in you know uh, under the maximum budget on that we came in on the low number so it you know budget wise it won't be a big hit because you were already playing on six so um, and we came in about three on the repair up front so um, that's the latest and uh, we'll keep on keeping you posted